I've beat cancer, melanoma cancer uh, a couple times. Started as a mole in my head and then came back in my neck in a uh, lymph node and um, it was removed about a year and a half ago. This truck in itself, as far as the opportunities to hang out with my family and, and, and do things with my family, it means the world. Because you, you only get one life, one shot at it. So just having this in itself, being able to say, hey guys, let's just for one weekend, let's just get out of here and just hang out. It, it really means a lot. And that's really where I think the, the basis of this came from, of in my mindset to actually have something where I can just on a whim, just get in it with the family and go. That's really the premise as far as why I bought this vehicle. Even in high school at a young age, my buddy had like a Tacoma. We take that out in back country. And you know, I've always liked that just, overlanding, off-roading type thing, but it was really a money thing. I always loved Land Cruisers, and I obviously didn't have the money to just go out and splurge on, one, a brand new Land Cruiser, and then the mods on it as well. It's been a fun ride, you know? It's just been, it's really cool experience. The overlanding community has just been amazing. And once I got it, I got it right before the market shifted. Um, I was very fortunate where I found it locally in Richmond, Virginia, and, and, and was able to, to jump on one at a great price. I've looked at like 60 series, 80 series. I love 80 series, but specifically the 200, newer, you know, as far as longevity, I know they all have a track record of longevity, but being newer, I could really take this and do what I want with it, make it look the way I want it to look. Everything that I wanted to get done to it, a company called Slee out in Colorado, they had everything that I really wanted, like the rear bumper, skid plates, rock sliders, that type of stuff. So I reached out to them, I said, hey, if I make a trip out there to Colorado, can I get that stuff put on? And uh, they're like, absolutely. So set up a time, it was a couple months later and talked to my brother-in-law and I was like, hey, you want to road trip it out to Colorado? Cause he used to live in Colorado. So he's familiar with the area. So it was a, it was a fun like week, week and a half of road tripping it out there and seeing the land, seeing the country. So I have the BP 51s on it right now. It's a two and a half inch lift. Slee sliders, skid plates underneath is also Slee. The wheels on it, yeah, those are heritage edition because it's obviously a heritage edition uh, Land Cruiser. The tires themselves, the all-terrain, uh, the Nitos. The headlights are off heritage edition. Headlights on it come standard like that. The grill is heritage edition as well. The front bumper is Descent. Got that from California. Come up winch on it. But yeah, it's been a fun journey, you know, and that's what's kind of led me up to where I am now. And, you know, I haven't really taken it too much. I've been to to Union Jack and Flagpole Knob and hit some trails out there, but I'm looking for some more adventures with the family. And that's really what it's all about. Like seeing the country and really hanging out with the family and just getting that quality time in.